Oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface, so it's no surprise that roughly half of the U.S. territory is underwater. Just 5% of the world's oceans have been steel explored. Twelve humans set foot on the moon, but only four made it to the Mariana Trench, which is the lowest point on Earth. But why? Come along with us, as we explore this topic in more detail in today's video. The main obstacle, the pressure. The main obstacle to diving deep into the water is pressure. It is easier to send people into space than to the bottom of the ocean because of the severe pressure, zero visibility, and extremely low temperatures found at greater depths. Although it's invisible, there is 1,000 times more pressure here than there is on land. But, at the same time, the pressure in space decreases to zero as we travel through the Earth's atmosphere. So, mapping the planets is simpler than mapping the ocean floor. NASA uses radio waves for exploring space, but this approach can't be used for the ocean, since the trillions and trillions of gallons of water get in the way. Bloop. The oceans even have their own sound, known as a bloop. Scientists discovered this strange, low-frequency sound in 1997. However, additional studies showed a few years later that the bloop was actually the result of an iceberg breaking off from a glacier. The huge size. The Atlantic Ocean is growing larger while the Pacific Ocean is getting smaller. The Atlantic Ocean did not even exist many, many years ago. It originated when the North and South American continents separated. At present, it continues to grow at an annual rate of 2 inches a year, while the Pacific Ocean is shrinking a bit. Next up. Underwater rivers and lakes. In the depths of the ocean, there are rivers and lakes. The reason lakes and rivers can form and flow directly inside the ocean is that the combination of seawater and hydrogen sulfide is much heavier than the surrounding water. The world's biggest waterfall called the Denmark Strait Cataract is underwater, too, in the waters between Iceland and Greenland. Its height is 11,500 feet, and the amount of water is over 2,000 times more than Niagara Falls. Since cold water has a higher density than hot water, it can fall into the warmer Erminger Sea, creating an underwater waterfall. The Longest Mountain Chain The longest mountain chain is also buried in the enigmatic underwater world. The Mid-Ocean Ridge, which stretches for about 40,000 miles. However, only about 1% of this ridge has been studied. Compared to our knowledge of the surfaces of Mars and Venus, we know less about this chain. Imagine burying Mount Everest, our highest mountain, into the Challenger Deep. The highest point of the mountain would still need a distance of 1.2 miles to touch the water's surface. Other amazing facts. 94% of all living things are aquatic, and over two-thirds of marine life is still unknown. As a result, new species are being discovered all the time. Did you know that there are about 20 million tons of gold in the oceans, but not in a way it can be extracted or mined with any cost-effective methods? It's all over the seafloor. Every person on the planet would receive almost 9 pounds of gold if we could take it out. Amazing right? The oceans provide a large portion of the oxygen on our planet. According to scientists it's about 50 to 80 percent. Most marine plants, such as algae, create oxygen. A tsunami can be up to 100 feet tall, but waves under the surface are far bigger and can reach a height of 800 feet before they collapse. In the ocean's depths, there are a million volcanoes, and 80% of their eruptions occur underwater. One of the earliest aquatic animals is the jellyfish, whose ancestors lived 500 to 700 million years ago. With the discovery of the earliest dinosaurs around 240 million years ago, it puts them more than twice as old as the most recent ones. Black holes contain extremely intense gravitational forces that pull objects in and even light cannot escape them. The same thing happens with those located in the oceans yeah, no need to go to space to see one of those, we have them on the earth too. It's just that they don't catch the light, but the water. Swirling billions of tons of water and everything else in their path, these whirlpools can occasionally be larger than entire towns. Thank you for watching and follow for more.